try to do this and uh apologize about the light if it's a little dark but um, grinding uh corn socks for feet tonight this afternoon uh it's not windy uh, for once uh, but it could be so it uh, goes out dries out it's uh, spring it's muddy grinding a uh Sorghum sedan grass bale now. We got uh, one more left. I've been, uh, we did feed some uh, in a round bale feeder. We'll put like one out with uh, three bales of hay or something. Cows can just feed through it as they want. Um, the last ones have been kind of cruddy, so we've been uh, grinding them. Actually, this is Dad's job. Not his technical job, but uh, Dad likes to grind hay. Grinds in beds uh, while I feed and do other stuff. Uh, but dad broke his arm or his wrist uh, the other day, uh, probably two weeks ago now. He slipped on the ice at home, um, taking the garbage out of all things. And so he's kind of, uh, he's just staying at home now. He's fine, he'll be alright. But uh, you don't uh, realize uh, how much uh, somebody does for you or helps you out until they don't show up for work. But, we're getting by. Luckily, it's um, even though winter is our kind of our uh, more uh, busier time, but uh, we're getting by. Somebody asked a little while ago how long it took for the sorghum sedan grass to get you know, as high as it was in one of the videos. Uh, that was basically about a month. It was about waist high four-wheeler high and we did not graze it we should have and that little piece uh, we ended up mowing it off with the sh um, shredder and then we did rake it but then it snowed on it so the cows uh, I guess windrow grazed it I don't know how well they did on it uh, we'll, they still finally melted off of it but it's one of our cabin fields, dirt fields, pear fields. Um, it's four acres, it's not a big deal. Uh, it'll probably, we'll probably put some yearlings or something up there this spring and summer. And they'll kind of chew it up or turn it into the dirt, depending on what it really does look like. And it'll probably get the seed back to, uh, I don't know, but it'll probably be, right now it's on my list of uh, kind of one of my uh, summer dirt yards or sacrifice paddocks for, um, for the cows that we do have uh, here at home, that graze here at home. Uh, we do have uh, some winter rye planted. Um, one of them is going to get turned into corn. And the other one, uh, sure yet. Um, not doing a whole lot of summer annuals for grazing um, just because of we don't really need them. And if we can get some of our uh, places where we winter cows or keep cows uh, in the spring uh, turned into corn, uh, that's a whole lot more productive for us. So, uh, we'll see how what the weather turns into. We're basically treating this as uh, corn stocks, the feed quality, because it is kind of rough. Um, the hay buster does grind the feed up enough to run to the feed wagon. Um, if you do it right, you can build a pile, which you can by maybe about a week's worth of feed at a time. Um, and what I usually do is I just load it, load it with the skid steer, or just set the bales behind it with the skid steer, and then um, grind up this and back and around, driving all around, especially now that it's, uh, the yards are muddy. Um, 
it's just all you do is fight around. But uh, that's kind of basically all that's happening around here. Um, we need to home and over in a very bad way. Uh, but we can't go anywhere except onto a pile. And then you have to haul on it twice. So we keep the apron's cleaned off. Um, well, we have to keep cleaned off. But uh, things are going to start running really bad, really hard um, as soon as it does dry up. So we get out uh, our haul before spring. I got my, my other helpers. I don't know if you can see him. Turbo's down there with his friend Angel. Um, they like to sit in the tractor and watch. But anyway, um, that's kind of what's happening around here. Middle of March, it's in multi -mult. Um Been uh, doing some more uh, reselling antique stuff uh, on eBay and other sources. Uh, in the past, uh, well, the past this winter, um, we have found some uh, pretty cool uh, farm-related stuff. Uh, one of these days, if anybody's interested, we'll uh, maybe go through some of them. Um, <clears throat> some old uh, farm magazines and, and some uh, farm-related stuff. So, so someday, uh, maybe uh, three months from now, we'll get around to it. But uh, we might do that. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, thanks to everybody who has. And, uh, questions, comments, uh, leave them. Uh, we'll get to them eventually. And if I uh, haven't answered them, uh, just ask them again. Uh, someone keeps asking well, how many hours the M has on. Um, I really don't want to look. 45, 49. So that's what the M has on. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll catch you guys next time.